Hello! I am gonna stream my first 3DS game, and it's a big one. It is Fire Emblem Fates. I'm going to turn the volume down a little bit on my headphones. There we go. Okay, so that sounds a little bit better. This is the opening uh, cinematic sequence here with all the titles and the credits. Now, this game is actually uh, three games in one. It's crazy. Fire Emblem Fates, it's called. Streaming, uh, just sending out this tweet right now to let people know what's going on. Okay, great. Uh, thanks, Blake. All right, this is the new one, obviously, from Intelligent Systems, or the new ones from Intelligent Systems. Uh, there's Birthright, there's Conquest, which Blake has gotten, he's playing through, and then there's another third one, a third chapter that you can download uh, from the eShop e called Revelation, and that's meant to be played after you've played through these. Now, I've played just a few minutes of this game, um, and I wasn't really paying too much, of a t too much attention, so I'm just going to start us right from the very beginning, and uh, let's jump in this thing together, okay? Let's see how this goes. Uh, and I'm going to go for... Um, Normal, but I'm gonna do uh, classic fallen units die each decision counts that that makes sense for everybody So when I lose my characters and I will they're gonna die. So we'll just do it. Let's go All right, so I actually I've done all this before and I really like it. This is their uh, their setup shop I'm gonna uh, for setting up the characters and they've done a pretty cool job here um, I'm gonna do um, I don't want to be short because I'm short in real life, so I'll be uh, I'll be this guy. Uh, okay, so let's go forward. And I uh, I like there was a haircut that I liked it was uh, this one, right? The spiky with the uh, the swoosh. Uh, I try to do my hair like that often. All right, so let, let's go with this guy. Um, I'm gonna do I'm gonna choose dark uh, kind of uh, Nightwing style uh, blue for his hair. Boom. Um, and I'm gonna make him, uh, these are weird choices. Caring, mature, stern, or uh, boyish. Uh, he looks a little stern there. All right, I'm gonna go for that. Oh, wait a second, I'm gonna go. Yeah, I'm gonna go for that. Here he is, with the eyebrows. And I'm gonna give him a little scar over his eye. Uh, I'm gonna put him right in the middle. He's, uh, it's right in the middle. Okay, and uh, we are okay with these. Let's do it. And what do you guys think I should call this guy? Oh, good choice. We're gonna go with Batwing. Here we go. Uh, no, I've got the... Uh... Okay, cool, thank you. Are people uh, already in? Yeah, cool. Welcome, everybody, to Fire Emblem Fates Birthright. Okay, let's go. Let's see, this is uh, Batwing. Everybody has seen me type this in in my footage many times. Mostly the editors. Okay, Batwing it is. Bam! Yes, it's okay. Uh, birthday. You know what? It's almost my birthday. My birthday's in, uh, in, in a couple of days. So I'm just going to do that. Uh, I'm going to do uh, Clever. I'm going to do uh, a little clumsy, and my I'm going to be a samurai. Let's do that. Sure. Okay, here we go. Okay, let's do it. Many, many menus and buttons to go through. Let's, let's start playing some Fire Emblem Fates. Okay. Um... No, I'm going to start a, a new... Uh, oh, you know what? Let's just do it right from the beginning. We're all in this together now, everybody. I just uh, erased the, uh, the minuscule save game that I had before. All right, here we go. Great. Awesome. Oh, man, they spend a fortune on this game. This is a huge thing. This is probably the biggest game that Intelligent Systems has ever made. Or games. You are the ocean's gray waves. Oh, our streaming quality. Okay, cool. Welcome, Super Ant and Leod Chug and Massa Millennium. <laughs> Massa Millennium, I like that one. All right. 
Here we go. Look at this. Epicness. Now, if I recall the Fire Emblem video games, they don't look quite like this. Dorian General, you face the high they prince of Hoshido. Quite this Ryoma. fancy. I challenge you. But very pretty. Combat. I will accept your challenge, High Prince. But I'm no general. I am Crown Prince. Turn it down a little bit. Okay. Let me know how the volume is, guys. I'm gonna let you experience some of these cutscenes with me, okay? Look out! Okay. Epic. Epicness. Here I go. And now the real art of the game comes in. Still beautiful. Still lovely. Okay. Oh, and there's the real game art. <laughs> Doesn't quite look as epic as uh, the cutscenes do, but still, it's not really about that. It's about uh, character placement and strategic thinking. Okay. All right, ready to attack? Let's do it. Let's not lose anybody, okay, team? Hua! Attack. Nice. Fancy schmancy. Ouch. Okay. Sorry. That was me. Tell me, Prince of Nor. Was that cowardly attack on my people? You're doing as well, Princeling. Silence. If you refuse, die here. Okay, so they're setting up some of the mechanics. Oh, this this is cool. I like that. Very nice. Oh no. Very nice. So Nick, explain for me, because I've never played a fire emblem. Not to worry. Okay, Blake has joined me. Blake Seifkin, everybody, round of applause. <sighs> so, so what is this series all about? Um the, this is a series uh usually about warring um uh, kingdoms and factions within kingdoms and and uh, magicians and wizards and stuff um, to be honest I never pay that much attention to the stories because it's really just about the mechanics and uh, it's kind of like a chess game with really cool uh, characters with all kinds of great abilities it is about um, uh, making the right moves they're, t they're teaching us stuff here Switch switching phases you and the enemy will take turns commanding your forces uh, once you're, all your units are taken action, then the enemy phase will begin. Okay, so basically what they're telling us is as we make all of our selections, our moves and our attacks, if, if they're within the uh, parameters of our um, uh, protagonists, if they can attack, they'll go through all of that stuff and then the enemy gets a turn and they can do that. So you want to be positioning yourself at all times with as much defensive uh, sort of strategy in mind as possible because when the enemy starts attacking you they whittle down your your hit points on all your characters and then you start losing them and the big thing with Fire Emblem um, is that it uses that kind of traditional Dungeons and Dragons type lore and, and some of the things some of those kinds of uh, um, you know preset concepts that we're familiar with in, in that kind of, uh, a lot of a genre tropes. a lot of ter well a lot of tropes from the um, uh, the world of, of something like a Dungeons and Dragons, but then it it uh, gives you this this battlefield tactical strategic kind of overview that uh, makes it feel like you're playing an old traditional board game, you know. Okay. And it's very it's a, an amazing compulsive loop. The uh, the sister game to this is is the Advance Wars series, which gives you much more modern weaponry and tanks and bombers and things like that. But it's the same kind of principles. Cool. But the big the big reason why Fire Emblem is a big favorite is because they always put a ton of effort into the stories. Cool. Um, but again, I skip through them quite a bit because I just want to get to the game. And that's kind of why the, the games also work, is that they work in two different ways. You can read them, it's just a traditional RPG, and fall in love with the characters, or you can just skip right through everything and jump into a really tuned... Um, uh, strategy back and forth. Okay, have you spotted uh, a dragon vein, Camilla? Yes. You know me too well, dear little brother. 
Okay. I don't know what a dragon vein is. Do you wanna do you wanna tag team your voices? Like I can read them. Sure, okay. Do you want me to be a oh, oh I don't know if the, I don't know if the people want us to read the uh, voices. Well, why, don't, why don't we give it a shot? That might drive people crazy. Yeah, I'm gonna do my best at least. Okay. Yay, it worked! The river dried up. That was pretty good. You might have uh, <laughs> another career here. I would never let you down, darling. Now everyone, follow me. Listen. This, this, well, I'll be Leo. Okay. Or can you do a Leonardo DiCaprio? Uh, no, I cannot. Okay. Yeah. I'll just do a normal then. All right. At least you're not ready for the front lines. Stay back. All right. Camilla and I will take care of whatever that is. Hosh Hoshidens. The Norian army used a dragon vein to dry up the river. But I thought only royals held that power. Yes. Yeah, which means there must be some real big souls over there. Shots over there. <laughs> Okay, that's enough with the voices. We're gonna drive create people crazy. Okay, so basically what's happened is everybody is uh, inching towards some some uh, battle here, and they have a lot of units, so we got to be careful. They're, and now we're now we're fighting. Now we're going back and forth. And um, what they introduced with the last 3DS game, I think they did it on the one of the last consoles. Basically, uh, you can. Um, partner up, you can pair up with other um, characters and have uh, uh, chained attacks based on positioning and the abilities of the characters. Listen up, Cannon Fodder, we have a direct order from King Leo King Chief Garen. says basically it's chess plus rock, paper, scissors. Yeah. That sounds about right. Yeah, for sure. He says, kill them all. James Barner on YouTube, because we're streaming on Twitch enemy. and YouTube. Oh, okay, cool. Uh, had a quest uh, uh, saying... He has a question asking, live stream daily, question mark? So, I think that's the plan. Keep yeah, we're trying, yeah. We're trying to stream a little bit every day, and there's going to be a lot of interviews, and uh, eventually we'll get to reviewing some stuff. And, unsurprisingly, lots of people are asking about this future of EP. Mm -hmm. Broadcast future of EP. Uh, n n nothing to no say nothing yet. Nothing new to... Nothing to say yet. No reports yet. Someone Stay tuned. That they replaced EP Daily with Man Tracker on Rogers. Oh no! <coughs> oh, is it Man Tracker now? I, I heard it was uh, Liquidator for a while. At least Man Tracker is a halfway decent show. Yeah. It's kind of cool. I was actually watching that. Be careful! Oh, were you? I bet you ours is better than So take that, Roger. <laughs> Oh, no, no, I don't want to do that. See, you can make a mistake if you're not paying attention. I almost, I almost made a mistake, so I'm going to do this. I'm sure people are probably wondering how we're streaming a 3DS game. Um, we yeah. probably can't go into too much detail, yeah. but uh, we, we have a, a cap system that allows yeah. us to do stuff. We have a thing Nintendo gave us. Mm -hmm. Loaned us. Yeah. And, and normally it's used for... You capture the footage onto a hard drive separately, and then you take it into an editing program. That's how we used to make our mm -hmm. footage for our reviews. Oh, so this is my healer, so I don't want to put her into combat. I'll put her back there. Oh, I can attack. Okay. Yeah, Let's do it. Basically, the top and bottom screen are two different I'm picture and pictures than I look. on the video switcher without getting into too much detail. It's very complicated. Yeah, it's, it is an amazingly complicated setup that we have right here. And Blake and I are basically, he's basically on my lap right now, which is, uh, which is amazing. <laughs> so he can see the little tiny screen that we have. And uh, we can both well. provide a little commentary here. Come on. Okay, so I killed one dude, but it looks like I have a million other ones to kill. Oh, or do I? Are you all right? Yes. You're not hurt, are you? Thank heavens we found you. Not on my watch. Okay. Okay, so this big guy right here, this this guy is the brother of me. Okay, right. Ra Rayoma. Crazy, crazy hair. Silence! Yeah. Batwing is my brother and a prince of no- Oh, they're both my brothers. No, why did you make your name Batwing and not something oh. like everyone else on Twitch? Because I'm Batwing. That's- <laughs> that's- that's my secret identity. Not so you secret have identity. Devil's own luck. Uh, I'm glad you're you're okay, Batwing. You must have the devil's own luck. Okay. Yay! Nori and scum. I wanted to do with these. Yeah. No. <laughs> Don't be. What? Come okay, back. now I've seen. I'm just trying to load Twitch again. I'm seeing this Arnold Schwarzenegger mobile game ad. Yep. We love time. that ad. I, it's I'm, supporting I'm, EPN. Love, we love Arnold Schwarzenegger. But I love that I, I have to watch it ten times a day. <laughs> Man, um, they are really I'm spending some money, right? Yeah. I know. It's unbelievable. Well, if they could afford Arnold, they got 
<laughs> well, if they could afford Arnold, the spending of the the uh, the money of placing the ad is nothing. It's peanuts. Yeah. Okay, so Kingdom of Nor, Northern Fortress. Okay, and now I think we get to see, if I'm not mistaken, we will get to see the bad guy. Now. Got chocolate milk one thousand and one on YouTube. Yep. Uh, says hopefully you're playing with permadeaths. Nothing like raging and soft resetting time to wake up. every time. Oh yeah. Totally playing with permadeaths. That's exactly how I played the last Fire Emblem game. Is that game. an option you can turn on and off? Well, if you don't save, you, know, I, you can turn it on at the beginning. I don't know if hey, down the road you can turn up. it off. You probably can. Okay, so here, uh, the, I, I'm waking up from a dream, and these two uh, girls dressed in maid outfits are above my... It's just Tuesday, like every other Tuesday. Tuesday. Girls, just like every other Japanese uh, <laughs> <laughs> Your brother is a fearsome opponent, is he not? Oh. Okay. Is that so? Okay, so yes. they're gonna assist me in waking up. It's gonna get a little awkward. Oh, they just touched my face. Okay, that's fine. Everything's fine. Don't un Okay. So he's up now, he's awake, he's on his feet. It's a strange dream. But all my brothers and sisters are here in um. Nor. Good luck out. Oh, so that was a big dream, so that training sequence was a dream. Okay, all right. And if anyone's wondering, the Twitch stream is an SD. The Twitch stream is an SD, and the uh, I'm impressed. YouTube stream is, is a 720 Big brother. HD. Listen, oh, cool. We tried doing HD on both, but it was too too much. Uh, 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 let's do this. Vagabond Dog says, is this Birthright or Conquest? This one is Birthright. And I have no idea what the differences are yet. I haven't checked out Conquest. Blake's got Conquest. Difference is about $30. <laughs> it is a very interesting strategy, man. I'm wondering how it's going to work out for these guys. I'm surprised they don't have any Amiibos for this game. They didn't do that, did they? Or, I I th no, I think they do. But it wasn't a big part of the uh, strategy. I think they do have some kind of amiibo stuff. But we didn't. I didn't pull out any of the amiibos that I have. I have a couple Fire Emblem amiibos. Okay. For this particular game, though. Well, they're from Smash Brothers, but I think they would probably work with this game. Okay. Uh, yeah. They didn't have a. Oh right, yeah. They had a big collector's pack, though, with a huge art book and stuff. Okay, so uh, he hurt me on his... Uh, when I hit him, he, he stabbed me back, so I gotta go back to this he this healing space right here. Okay, cool. This is uh, teaching me about healing, I guess. This is just tutorial stuff. Yeah. There's probably about... I'm, I'm gonna do, like, 90 minutes, and probably all of that 90 minutes will be tutorial. <laughs> And then I think what I can do, because I'm only allowed to stream, uh, you know, a few hours of this before the game comes out. So what I'll probably do is I'll, I'll play this for a little more than an hour today, and then I'll take it away and keep playing it, and then I'll, I'll pop the cartridge back in, and we'll see what the game's like a little bit later on. Oh, okay, cool. How does he know that already? Or she. How does Vagabond Dog know? Uh, that? Somebody's doing so, the research on that. Ah, gotcha. You'll be all right. Okay, so I leveled up a little bit. So far, so good. I haven't lost anybody. Everybody's alive. In my dream that I had, and in my Actually, first training mission. Five minutes into the tutorial. Yeah. <laughs> so far, I'm doing great. Do you get a platinum trophy or something? If <laughs> I don't know. They they probably have in, uh, embedded achievements of some sort here. Typical. You do not know. You do know that the true strength is more than simple swordplay, right? I did know that. Yes. Yes. Just remember that pointy metal sticks are not the only path to power. Some wisdom. Oh. Throwing it down. What? Well. Yeah. Okay. Someone's offended. Yeah. Okay. Let me 
very uh, a lot of a lot of flourish. You all right, dear? In the wardrobes of everybody. That's, un that's unexpected, <laughs> given that this is a JRPG. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Lots of color, lots oh. of floofy stuff, capes and whatnots. Ram zero zero says, "I haven't played anything Nintendo in eons." Oh yeah? That's silly. There's lots of great Nintendo. Shit You're missing games. out. Sorry. You're missing out. There's lots of good games out there. The tune was great. <laughs> yes. Okay, I'm getting myself a little more comfortable, so you, my uh, voice might not be might hey. might move away a little bit. Okay, let me let me tell him, Xander. We have wonderful news, Batwing. Father asks us to take you back to the capital. Yes. Really? Okay, I guess we're going on a road trip. Someone's asking yes. us about Deadpool. No. <clears throat> um, it's amazing. It's great. Yeah, yeah. It, it, it de definitely go and see the movie. It's uh, everything that you hope it's going to be. They they definitely yeah. projected all of it's that not, into the movie. It's not like it's the best movie ever made, but it is a perfect Deadpool movie. I'm yeah. so happy if you, for if you. If you want a Deadpool Thank movie, you. it is yes. exactly what it is. Yeah, they're true. very true to the uh, source material, and yes. it's made with a lot of love, oh. and it's funny as hell. Yeah. And it's uh, oh, violent. It's, funny. it's like a, com it's more of a comedy. Listen up. Yeah. It's probably the funniest comedy I've seen in years. Yeah, it was really funny. You were cracking up. You never crack up. I, I usually don't like to laugh. Yes. But, yeah, I, was laughing quite a bit <laughs> I saw a little cracks happen on your face actually from all that smiling and laughing. It was, like it was my, weird. My muscles didn't know what to do. Like, what is this? <laughs> Felicia and I will accompany Lord Batwing. We may be gone for some time. Take good yes. care of the place. Okay, so I'm assembling my army, or my uh, my squad, squad goals, and I'm saving. Someone's asking, is this the Treehouse translation? Do they mean it was localized by the Treehouse? Team? Yeah, and uh, what I've heard is that there is no Japanese voice option in this one. Oh. Check this out. So it's all, it's all, um, there's all little English quips and stuff like that. But for the most part, you're reading most of it yourself. You're reading. That's cool. That Gorgeous. Mean? It's a, it's a huge castle. And the, the way they set it up is just amazing. And then it does this fly in. And you see how massive it is. It's an epic game. I mean, it's, it's huge. And then it, but it devolves into battlefield by battlefield chess matches. You know, which is incredible. All right, so there's the king. I believe You've come a long way. he doesn't look like a good guy at all, this king. He looks like a really, really nasty dude. Can't tell if that's a crown on his head or if he's got iron yes, spikes I that think, come out of his I head. I think all kings are bad because I'm, I'm, not, I'm not a monarchist. Okay, all right. Uh, yes, Father, long have I wished to see you and visit Castle... Krakenberg again. Krakenberg. Castle Krakenberg. That doesn't no. sound like a jolly place. It's, quite, quite nice. it's okay, there. Th thanks to your diligence that you are here. I am told that you are now a warrior almost on par with Xander. You Castle finally... Krakenberg, is that in Sombertown? <laughs> you finally possess the strength to be an instrument of Norse power in the world. Father. Yes. Oh, so everybody's wondering if he'll be okay outside no. of the walls. Nor is at war with yes. Hoshido. Yes, Father, I've heard as much. Okay. Sorry, this dude's weird. Yes! <laughs> it's great art, right? I'm aware of your expectations, Father, and I've trained every day to become more like my siblings. Okay, so he's got two very powerful brothers, and he's the, the weak link. But now he's got this weird fire stick sword thing. Is that what that is? Thank you. Looks, I thought it was yeah, it looks a little veiny. No. Okay, bring out the prisoners. Yes, sire. <laughs> it's glowing and purple, and <laughs> here we go. Yeah, we're we're like six years old. Okay. <laughs> Listen well. These are prisoners from our most recent skirmish with Hoshido. I want to. See... Oh, this is. I I got to this part. Dude basically pulls out some prisoners and says, "Kill them," <laughs> and you just do it. You just jump you right into you, battle. You don't have any, like, Allow options. Me to nope. No. Just yes. go and kill them. So it's... They, he frees them to kill them. I am Rinka. I am Rinka, daughter of the Flame Tribe's honorable chieftain. Um... I'm Batwing. Uh, uh, huh? You've heard of huh. me. Hmm. Vic should do voiceover work. Do it! <laughs> um, haven't you? I've done a little bit of voiceover work, yeah. Uh, for documentaries and stuff. I haven't, I haven't done any video games. I'd love to do Didn't that. You? I thought you did it. 
Um, uh, we've done, yeah, we've done a couple of little, like, uh, Walla type things. But yeah. I would love to do a character in a game. That'd be amazing. If there are any developers listening, I'm free. I'm available. <laughs> yeah. Remain focused. Okay, I'm gonna keep my people together because uh, they are stronger together. All right. Felicia. Okay, let's go. So they each tell you a little bit before. Uh, let's see, I've got falling, falling, losing units. Fallen units will lost be lost forever in classic mode. Batwing falls in battle in classic mode. Okay. Okay, here we go. The you game see? is over. Okay, let's go up. Oh, we're going to get into a fight now. Here we go. Chuck 420. Mm -hmm. I guess 419 was taken. Yep. Says, no, I think he chose 420 deliberately. Why? Why? Uh, that. <laughs> he says, Vic, you should talk with Stan Lee. How many times have you talked talk with Stan Lee? I've, I, dozen, I've talked to Stan quite a bit. I've talked with Stan Lee. Yeah. I'm nobody. <laughs> All you have to do is go to any event. Yeah. Stan Lee will probably be there. Well, it's because he loves being... He doesn't need to be there. He just loves it. He loves oh, being, yeah, being with people. He's amazing. Okay, let's go. Ouch. Yeah, I honestly haven't pitched myself out to do any voice work or anything like that, but I, I, I dig it when I, when I do it. I've had producers who are listening to me do an interview. This actually happened at MIPCOM last year, the last time I went. I had a producer. MIPCOM's a television um, convention where, where a lot of TV producers from around the world come to shop their shows, and I was interviewing this producer's talent for a show that they were in. I think it was a magician. Um, and uh, she asked if I did any voiceover work because I have a voice that they, they aren't hearing out there because I guess they hire a lot of the same narrators and things like that over and over again. I said, uh, I have done some. And uh, she said, well, she would definitely get in touch with me. But uh, I've heard that a few times in my career. Yeah. Hey, you have a good uh, TV show. <laughs> you have been on TV, I think. I have been on TV, yeah. Okay, let's attack this, this person. Oh, okay, this guy's badass. Boom! Has anyone here played the Division beta? Uh, I pl I've played three hours of the game. I played um, a big chunk of the single player. When I did that segment that's on our YouTube channel, um, the uh, the interview and the um, behind-the-scenes stuff there, well, it was, it was a little bit of a let's play and a little bit of an interview. Which you can see at youtube.com slash epnetworktv. Uh, yes, or epntv. Yeah. Um, and so I played a big chunk of it, and I can't wait for the open beta. I want to dive back in, but really, quite frankly, I can't wait for the full game, man. I had a really good time. I was really getting addicted to it when I was playing it. I didn't want to let the controller go. This is a true story. I was blasé about the next-gen consoles until I saw the Division preview at E3. Yep. And that was the playthrough on stage. That I went three out of You. I went out in three quarters. You got the PS4 because of that. It does look different, but it does look great still. It does look great, like when you're playing it and you got it right in front of you, it's like, wow, there's a ton of detail in here. Okay, so... Hey, somebody has a tip for you. Okay. Never, um, says, never give the kill to the pre-promote tip number one. To the pre-promote? Yeah, his tip number one is never give the kill to the pre-promote. I don't know what the hell that means, but... Well, I don't know what it means either. I'm gonna go take out uh, the chieftain, though, right now. Barcode teacup on YouTube says, Here we go. Should Vic voice a character in a Batman game? I would love to voice a character in a Batman game. What character would you voice a uh, Actually, any, anything in a Batman game. Anything. Uh, Harley Quinn. I couldn't do Harley Quinn. But, uh, yeah, I would love to do something like that. That'd be great. Yes, uh, Joe Hollabrook. Jojo, Jojo Halbrook, we are playing Fire Emblem. Yep. Not till the 18th. Ah, yeah, we have an early copy. Because mm -hmm. we're special. Well, Nintendo wanted us to um, get a big chunk of uh, game time in on this because it's huge. It's massive. It's one of the biggest games of the spring. And when, it, when, when it's bigger, you need more time to 
Digest it. Ready for it and yeah. <sighs> They're really tough, aren't they? I hope all the Hoshidans aren't this strong. Hmm. Okay, so we just killed the prisoners. We just killed them. The, the chieftain, everybody wiped out. You bastard. That was basically what? genocide right there. <laughs> no, we well, only killed how many? <laughs> well, three of them, but. That's not true. Unless they were okay, them. milk run then. Oh, wait. Did they bring them alive? Oh, no, they're still there. That's, that's her right there. Okay. I don't know what he's doing. It's a JRPG. Oh, he was gonna kill him. And Batwing just saved him. Oh, okay. Very nice. Batwing, what are you? Unbelievable. You would defy me directly, Batwing. I think this is where the story turns. Father, please forgive me. Someone's asking which side did you join? I didn't. I didn't join their side. I, I'm. I'm birthright. I'm starting to figure out where I exist in my family here. I've got two tough brothers, and now I've got a merciless father who was just about to kill the prisoners I just beat in battle, and I stepped in between uh, his the fireball to to save the uh, the prisoners who were badly beaten. So I'm a good guy. Everybody else, watch out. Listen well. Fire Xander, you kill them. Oh, fine, Xander, you kill them, and if anyone gets in your way. You kill them too. Getting a lot of knowledge out of that bottom screen right now. Too. I know. <laughs> so, uh. It's so interesting too that they have on the screen right now. Stand down! Big brother. Okay, so Xander's gonna start fighting me now too. My, my brother is gonna. Because my, my father, the jerky king, is telling my brother to come and kill me. So, this is. What's that Shakespeare play that this is like? Uh, uh, we don't uh, is it Hamlet? Hamlet. Yeah? It's the one that ran for a poor saw the movie. Okay. Whoa. And my ally just uh, made everybody disappear, which is kind of cool. I gotta tell you, this is a different way to experience Fire Emblem when you've got a bunch of people and <laughs> you gotta talk, talk it through. <laughs> Usually you play these games and it's like a, this intense mix of a crossword puzzle and a, uh, you know, paper uh, chess match and a book. And you're sort of King Lear. This is kind of like King Lear. Like King Lear, nice. Oh, hey. not just a pretty face. Boom, Wikipedia on the tip. I didn't. I totally <laughs> didn't just check Wikipedia. <laughs> you just flipped through your mind. Yeah. <laughs> through I your see. memory. <laughs> yeah, Jojo Hellbrook, We just started. Yeah. So we're nowhere Bring the remains to chapter six. Yet. Oh, yeah. yeah. I yes. guess chapter six is. Thank someone else mentioned God. chapter six. Earlier. Big turning point. Oh, you must be able That's to true. choose. True. Right. Yeah. Sorry. You could do that in the last game too. It was, but I doubt this will be the last we hear of this. Father never forgets. Okay, so uh, I just, I just uh, really angered my father, and I will feel his wrath. So now I'm, I'm probably gonna have to kill my father. Very Darth Vader like. Just another Tuesday. In the kingdom. It's very Freudian. Mm-hmm. Okay. Listen. Listen. Disappear now, lest you be spotted by our king. Okay, so Xander comes. And Kaze comes. Oh, okay, so Xander actually comes, and, and he is reasonable. He's not going to kill these characters. Okay, that's cool. So, no. Rinka, we will see you again, I am sure. What? Soft-hearted fool, I am a Hoshiden warrior. You do not understand what you suggest. Yeah. I understand that right now Hushido and Nor are, are at war, but I'm trying to plan ahead for the day that the war is over and we can live in peace! <laughs> I've heard rumors of a sheltered Norian prince who knows nothing of the world. I see those rumors are true. It's like you're reading me a bedtime story. Right? It does kind of feel like that, right? Yeah. The music is very soothing. Okay. I have cleared chapter two. So far, nobody dead. Everybody's alive. <laughs> Chapter three, everyone's alive. Okay, so yeah, uh, okay. Jojo Halberg says, yeah, chapter six is where you decide to choose between the Nohirians and Hoshidans. Okay. All right. All right, Batwin, let's get in there together. Uh, this is our father we're talking about. Yes. He's got to be reasonable. Come let's on, Dad. Do this. Let's do this. Sounds like he's with someone. Maybe we should come back later. Look at that guy. How could he be anything but a, just an evil jerk? I mean, he look, he just looks so menacing. Being, very I, I know, I'm judging judge a, people by a book by its covers, I know, but look at how he's scowling. 
Like, they can't make hey, him smile? I, I scowl all the time. Oh, that's I'm true. Nice you are a nice guy. Okay, oh, sorry to bother you, Father. <gasps> yes, we apologize if this isn't a good time. Come on, Dad, let us in the door. Would you let your daughter dress like that? Yeah, well, this, uh, this is not Earth. This is the Kingdom of Nor and some other land, so it's fine. But I don't uh, care what yes. planet I'm on. My daughter would not dress like that. <laughs> <laughs> you may enter. Actually, my daughter does dress like that sometimes. <laughs> she, when she pulls out some of her own clothes, she looks just but like she, that, actually. She puts on pajamas sort of and a fairy though, princess yeah, and... Uh, really it. No, it's not very revealing. She's, she's well she covered up. No. Batwing, you disobeyed a direct order from me. You disobeyed a direct order from me. And ordinarily, you would not still be alive. See, jerk. Uh, well, you're the one who disobeyed it in the right order. I understand. No, Father, I can explain. Silence. As you are my child, Batwing, I will grant you some leeway. I have something in mind for you, a mission. Listen well. Yeah. Okay. This game's not really open-ended, right? Like, it's not like a Fallout where you're, or a Telltale game where you sort of decide the story as it goes. It's sort of free. Um... I, I honestly don't know. I don't know because they they have two interlocking stories. Maybe this that's part of travel. what they wanted to do was give you oh, some that's right, alternatives. Like three different versions yeah, of and then there's an epilogue, I think, kind of that uh, is another part and another extension of the game. It's it's basically a three act structure. Darling, are you sure you're going to be okay out there? I don't like this. Of course, please don't worry. It's just an abandoned fort. Okay, so back on the road. That's enough, Leo. So Leo and Xander. I'm afraid that's not possible. Oh, who's this Iago person? Now that's an outfit. Take a look at that. Look at Let that guy. Explain. He's got like a sun hat. Lady Camille, uh, it's Camilla. Like horn on it. it's, yeah, it's the horn yeah. cosmetic, or is it actually part of the body? I don't know. It's that. Yeah. I mean, imagine seeing that walking down the street. That'd be fine. I, you know, yeah. I live in East Van. Yep. I, on Commercial Drive, I see people dressed really weird every day. Sure, sure. So I don't. It doesn't phase me. Mm -hmm. After all, he is part of the royalty. Therefore, your assistance would simply muddy the results. Understood. Understood. Camilla, I need uh, not all by yourself, oh, Batwing. Oh, okay. So father's coming along too. And this guy. Wow, that's a uh, gutsy mm. outfit this guy's wearing. Thanks. He's got... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of like uh, a unitard was, huh? with pink, uh, I'm seeing a pink lot of, floofy wing I'm type things. I'm seeing a lot of purple in this game. Yeah, a lot of purple. A lot of people in this world like the color purple. That said, he is a formidable soldier, I see. Okay, so I'm, I'm accumulating some different... Uh, badasses to uh, augment my ranks and now I will be a force to be reckoned with watch out Hoshidans okay wow is this it the bottomless canyon yes it's the natural boundary dividing Nor and Hoshido it can't really be bottomless can it of course okay. of course I see. my 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 Sounds like they have, uh, oh my, uh, George, George, George Takei. Takei, Takei in here. Okay, uh, blast, it looks like this fort isn't as abandoned as we thought. Okay, here we go, off to battle. Hold on. So I'm fighting. That's Naruto. I'm fi <laughs> kind of looks like that. You have Naruto on your team. Of course. <laughs> no, that was a bad guy. <laughs> or my enemy, Hans. What? Hans, I think, has... Uh, now, is this He's got piercings and uh, like chaps. He's got the whole thing. Like, okay, so the character's name is Hans. It's mm -hmm. a Western name. Mm -hmm. Is that a result of localization? Why? Because I know that the clans what are called Cheeto. I don't know, man. So it's a oh. weird mix of Jack. It's a, yeah, they, they, it's a Western it's a kludge of everything, you know. Like they try to. But my question is, my it's an international is, game. Yeah. yeah, but is that a result? The localization, or is that like mm. if you played it in Japan? Would it have had the same thing? I think they usually stick with the names that Japan leads with. I think that's usually the way it goes. Now then, Lord Batwing, because then they can talk about the characters in the same with the same way in the same way, no matter where they go, right? 
Uh, now then, Lord Batwing, there are two kinds of battle formations. You'll need to learn both, and fast. You can take a defensive position by moving to the same space as an ally. Your ally will benefit from your support, but you won't be able to attack. If you want to unleash the most potent attack, stand in adjacent positions. Okay, from that alignment, allies may be able to attack simultaneously. I'll tell you more, but you're about to re receive some practical experience. Okay. So basically that means pair up in one of two ways. Um, I'm going to just move to Oops. I'm going to move to uh, here. Now, does this game require the second joystick? Like, does that add anything to it? I uh, might, might be able to... Oh, I don't have the... Yeah, on the, you don't have it on the one you're playing. Yeah, I don't have... This is always my curiosity with new 3DS games that have come out since the new 3DS with the second joystick built in. Mm -hmm. so does the second joystick really make the game that much better? Like, or, like would you want to upgrade? Would you want to play the game if you didn't have the new one? Does the, is the, the, the second joystick that crucial? I don't know. I wouldn't imagine on this type of a game. Yeah, because like a Monster Hunter, I would not want to play that with the old 3 No, exactly. Whereas a game like this, it'll be all right. I wouldn't want to play the uh, Majora's Mask on the old 3DS either. Yeah. Okay. I mean, okay, you you it, you can deal with it, but it's it's but much they, better to be able to move the camera around. But the thing is, when that game came out, you couldn't move the camera. I know, but they they fixed it. They made it they made it a, a lot smoother. Like I didn't mind playing Vice City and GTA. Mm -hmm. I didn't mind I playing them on the phone without a controller because the con they were made for the PS2 and you didn't have camera control. Right. When those games came out, so it was fine. But when San Andreas came out, you, by that point, you switched and you could control the, the camera. Well, you so had camera it, control on. Uh, not on the PS2 version of Vice City. You did, on the on uh, 3 and Trust 4. Me, you didn't. In three, 3 and Vice City, you didn't. It was San Andreas was the first one where they had camera. They gave control. you full 360 degree yeah. camera control. Okay. And so because of that, when you try to play the game on iOS, it doesn't play as well. <clears throat> okay. All right. Uh, someone's asking. Okay. Wait. This game or Far Cry Primal? I can only get one. Oh wow. They couldn't be more different. This between the Far Cry Primal. Uh, oh my god. Well, I haven't played enough of this to be able to tell you, but usually these things, they give you a lot of bang for your buck, the Fire Emblem games. They're very satisfying experiences. It might be a little weird now, though, that they've split these things up into three, you know? I don't know if that means that any one element of this game got the, uh, the short shrift, or short, sh is it sh shift or shrift? All right. I would imagine it's shift, because shrift is not a word. Okay. <laughs> I, I think I've been saying shrift my whole life, and I enjoy it. Hey, okay. Make it your own. Yeah. Um, All right. I don't know about Far Cry Primal, because, I mean, it looks great, and I love Far Cry. Yeah. If you only had enough money to buy one game, that game maybe doesn't feel different enough. If you played Far Cry 4, yeah. it maybe doesn't feel different enough from Far Cry 4 to... Oh, I felt very different than Far Cry 4. But I'm thinking if you only have enough money. Five right. Five. Oh my you god, I've, I've already... I, I was talking about Far Cry, Hans, Hans is dead. Sorry. Look at that, gone. Hans is dead. I didn't really have control over him, so... Uh, good, goodbye, Hans. Right. right. Okay, let's, um, let's kill some people here. Iron yeah, Lance against had, Iron Katana, here we go. Well, you can't really say that about Fire Emblem. Yeah, so I don't know. Yeah. So for this dude, I don't know which games he has more. Like, if he hasn't played Far Cry 4, then yeah, he has. And if you haven't played Fire Emblem on the 3DS, yeah, the there is already an excellent one. I forget what it's called. Path of something, I, I think. What's? Can you check that? What was uh, What was the previous Fire, Fire Emblem yeah, game? Yeah, because this, this is the second one. Yeah. Actually, I can tell you. It's on my machine right here. Uh, you'll, you'll get it sooner. Right. Okay. Uh, man, I'm, I'm already dying, guys. This, you can't not think Fire when Emblem, you're playing. Fire Emblem Awakening. Fire Emblem Awakening. Yeah, that was, that was awesome. That super cheap, but... They don't go down. The 3DS yeah. games, they don't go down in price. Well, they're, uh, they're commodities, man. Okay. Hot commodities. Okay. Um... 
I'm already stuck and lost and confused and about to die. Okay, here we go. Yeah, I think so. I think X. Yeah. We'll be streaming a bit more of that too soon as well. I'm just happy we got some 3DS action on the streams, man. This is great. Yeah. I bet. <laughs> It's not easy. I believe that's something Nintendo, if you're listening, the NX comes out. Oh, I'm sure of embedded streaming. Easy. Yeah. I mean, it is easy as there, you know, they will only do that if they've done the analysis that it's helping the bottom line of everybody else. You know, like if it's actually making... I mean, what do you guys think? Everybody that's watching and listening right now, do you think that streaming is helping the bottom lines of Xbox and PlayStation 4? Do you think that's a big reason why both machines are doing well, or are they doing well enough based around uh, uh, the ease that they offer streaming to their customers? Mm -hmm. And I, that is a very good point, Blake. Like, I wonder if Nintendo's going to look at that and say, yeah, this is very important for us, or if they're going to feel like, well, those guys it's already a, do it. Because it's a weird Catch-22 situation. Yeah. <laughs> like, with Someone Firewatch, I thought about streaming it. I finished it yesterday, and I thought about streaming it some more, but it's like, no, you don't want to stream that. You want people to kind of... Choice. Appreciate and enjoy it by themselves. Like some games you look at and you say, "Oh, I watched a stream of that. Maybe I don't need to play it." Yeah. Where that's maybe a game like Until Dawn. There's a game like Mario Kart. You watch a stream of that, it makes you want to play it. Right. And it's so hard. To play it. Or Sm you Smash Brothers. Yeah. I can't help you. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just thinking we have no presence on that. It's because of that. Well, people are streaming Smash Bros. quite a bit. But it's a pain in the ass. Yeah. There's no built-in stream. You have to go out and buy extra cards and stuff, which most people aren't going to do. Die! Right. Gotten. Oh my god. Oh, my I just lost my best dude. Who? Hans again? Oh my god, Gunter. I'll retreat and protect Hans Lord Batway. No, Gunter is okay. He's going to retreat. So they're, they're giving me a little mercy death we right there. This. Clearly, I shouldn't have bottled up my uh, characters on a bridge. Okay, she's dead. So, yeah, I'm losing all my people. Good lord. Uh, Jojo Albrook, uh, we didn't get the special edition with all three. We got um, this, uh, two different copies. One copy of two different versions. Yeah. Uh, and then the third one is downloadable. Yeah. No. I'm about to die. This is... This is, I, uh, we're about to start over again right now. It's amazing. I have a really deep question for you. Okay. The, the guy, uh, Brahms, uh, so this is the end. Yep. He was asking about Far Cry and uh, Fire Emblem earlier. He says the only reason he can afford one is because he's about to be a father. Ah. Do you have any fatherly advice? Oh, man. Very easy question. Um. Uh, yeah, just just put a as much aside in your life and spend as much time as possible with your kid because they're babies for a blink and then they're not. And uh, I've got my my daughter's about to turn four and I've watched her uh, uh, just turn into a little girl before my eyes and it's it's crazy. This happens so fast. So just spend a as much time as you possibly can and just learn how to slow down and just enjoy that time. But the but a good thing for for uh, infants for babies. Uh, is they sleep like crazy, and they're so small, you can put them on your chest and you can still play video games. I finished Mass Effect 3 that way. Okay. <laughs> but that only lasts for a little while, and then pretty soon they're too big for that kind of thing. Okay, so let's try that again, and I won't <coughs> bottle up all my characters. But you're starting from your last save. Did yes. Did you have to do that? Yeah, I died. But could you have kept going with... No, I, I, well, everybody died. The whole team wiped out on the bridge. I was really stupid. So there there was an example of things that you, you do not want to do in Fire Emblem. Okay, so he's laughing. I wish we could skip this. Can we skip it? Skipping. Yay! Okay, now we're on the bridge. Let's... Of course. So that was a lesson that they just taught me right there. The game just said, don't be dumb. Uh, don't push all of your characters into a trap point like that. Hold on. Okay. Skipping all that. Let's see, we'll see how we can do here. Okay, I like that they have skipping in there, especially if you're going to play through these sequences over and over again. Okay. Well, this guy can't move. He. Oh, we're going to pair up with him. I get it. 
I bet your Brahms Ball Raytheon is a big Mozart fan. Oh yeah? So I can't move him, okay, because he's not, he's hes a green color, he's not on my posse. Okay, so I only have the three here. So let's move Batwing over to here. Wait. Let's move him there. Pair up. Okay. Someone says you just press start to start. Yeah, I did. Okay. So Gunther just charged right in, or Hans just charged right in. He's on his own right now. I can't, I can't crazy operate him. Guys are doing crazy stuff. <laughs> I'm afraid that enemy's position across the bridge may be impenetrable. We've got to look for another way across. See if you can find a dragon vein around here. Wow, okay. So here we go. Batwing, let's find a dragon vein. There's one right there. Okay. Okay, let's see what, go, what, what happens now. Okay, so Hans. Let's do your work. Combat is terminal. Yeah. So you, you don't act like you can... Yeah. That was my problem with Mario and Luigi Paper Jam. Hmm. <coughs> Is that it's a turn-based game, but there's also a timing-based thing timing in the middle. Things. That's so that's relax. what's wonderful about those games. So yeah, you like can't relax. When I do a turn-based game, like I want to take as much time as I as I need in between turns. Dragon Vein got one. You can't do that. Nice. Here we go. Okay, so the Dragon Veins must be magic activators, I guess. Nice. Okay, here we go. Felicia, we don't want you too close to the battle there. Let's get you right there. And we'll pair you up with Batwing. So now when they come to get us, the two of us, we're going to do some damage. All right. Take her out. Take him out. Oh, no. Okay. But I leveled up. Okay. Nice. Level three. It's very slick. I love the uh, the zooming into the fight and then zooming right back out. They haven't been able to do that before. It's slick. Oh man, Hans dead. You got Hans killed yet? Well, he did it. I can't control him. That guy just doesn't want to. No. Oh, he says he's going back to lay low. So he's actually not dead. Okay. He's being a coward, basically. He's yeah. He's running. Okay, I can't, uh... Okay. Let's do it. Okay, let's wipe this little one out here. Come on, he just has a little bit of life left. Nice. It's over. Yeah, I think eventually you get to name everybody and customize them, and that's why you don't want to lose them, you know? Then you get to level them up and give them attributes and stuff. It's a really robust RPG, too. That's the thing, is that it delivers in two fronts. So you can go here and attack. I shouldn't have done that alone. Sorry. Right. Oh, that was a good hit. Now let's get you to there. Nice, okay. We can do this together. Very cool. Still got it. I think I can skip some of the battles too. Okay. Nice. Comes out Nineteenth? Okay. Ten days. They make everything that they do a big event, which is one thing I really admire about Nintendo. They just like to distance themselves from the the, the rest of the game competition. 
and they put a lot of effort into trying to make every single title that they come out kind of stand apart and be a big deal and they always have they've learned some valuable lessons over their many years in business I wish some of the other companies would take, you know, a lesson from Nintendo a little bit too. I, I like the fact that they they obviously iterate on their games and they have many versions and sequels and stuff, but they usually have a nice big breath before they release a new one. And I think that's that's the way to do it. You don't want to be putting out, you know, dozens of Tony Hawk games and tons of Tomb Raider games and exhausting everybody. You can't do a yearly cycle on a lot of this stuff. People were asking the uh, the 2K president why he doesn't annualize We've Grand Theft Auto, trouble. and imagine if that was no, it'd be terrible. It'd be awful, right? Be yeah, it's amazing that they wait so long and turn it into this global event when they release one, right? That's what Nintendo has done. They, they they're not obviously hitting the numbers that they used to have, but they kind of set that model, you know. <clears throat> Yep. He says, you can only use dragon-type characters to use the dragon veins. Okay. Ellie isn't a dragon-type person. Okay. So, uh, you can use some dragon thing with her. So don't do that. Okay. So there's some special thing on that. Uh, so I've used them. So let's uh, let's go there. Seize. Seize and finish the battle. Okay, we did it. All right. Did I just beat Chapter 3 and I only lost Hans? Uh -huh. I'm awesome at this game. Uh, this w wasn't what I had in mind, but at least I've completed Father's Mission. Okay. <laughs> you're the leader of these troops? Pah, you're nothing more than a boy. Uh-oh. My name is Saizo. Saizo! I've come to claim your life. Die. My name is Saizo. Destroy them! Okay. I won't yeah. allow it! <laughs> My name is Sajo. <laughs> Whoa. What is this? This must be their real commander. Xander's here. Okay. We're good. Let's get him. Yeah, kind of, yeah. Not in Locke. Did you see Locke? It was a straightforward voice. Yeah. But yeah, whenever he tries to do any kind of accent, it's always cool. Wow. I never knew Camilla would be so ruthless, uh, Elise. Uh, that's right. Your character and Camilla can use oh, okay. How does everybody know everything about this game already? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Here we go. For, for not dying. Thank you very much. Thank you. Well, Batwing is safe and the fort's condition has been evacuated. There's no reason to engage Hoshido further at this point. Batwing, you take the lead with Gunther. We'll follow close Understood. behind. We'll do. Thank you, Xander. Hurrah! And they've got Saizo. Did they capture him? I guess they did. I missed that. I was busy getting complimented, and I appreciated that. Okay. So back to our oh. castle. Gunther, have you seen Felicia? She was here a second ago. I'm sure she's right behind us. Uh -oh. Don't worry. You won't have to stand there. Oh, Hans is there. What? <laughs> Let's talk more death. What the heck? Hans is gonna fight us? Oh my gosh. Oh man, he just knocked my dude. Hans is fighting you now. Hans is fighting me and he just he just knocked my uh my javelin guy on the horse. He's he fell through the bridge. Traitor! Well he is German. Oh come on. Aren't you German? Okay, you'll pay for this. What, what kind of freak are you? Okay, Batwing's got some power. Oh, that's awesome. Wow, so cool. That's it. I want answers, Hans. Why are you doing this? Why did you provoke the Hoshidans? And why did you kill Gunter? <laughs> he killed Gunter. Just following orders. What? You lie. Does why did you kill Gunter? <laughs> It does sound like a kind of a uh, super dramatic radio play a little bit, doesn't it? Yeah. Okay. <coughs> All right. So Hans went went for a dive. So 
Jojo Hunter. Oh no, Batwing went for a dive. He knows all this stuff because he's a big fire engine fan. Ah, okay. Oh, you're following with your giant purple dildo. Uh, I've got, uh, Lilith is here. My kin, my gods, Dragons my blood. Grant Dragons, me grant me strength. Great moral, I beseech you. Uh, somebody just said, hey, Chris Anthony just said, hey, Vic and Blake, I'm a fan from the States. I miss seeing the show every day. Ah. So glad the rundown is back. Wishing you guys much success. Thank oh, you. thank you. Thank you very much. Tell your friends, Chris Anthony. Yep. Let's build up that YouTube channel as best we can, okay, guys? Uh, this may come as a shock, but I am not a human. Uh-oh. Well, I can see that. Are you a dragon? Yes, this is my true form. You've seen it before. Do you remember? That strange bird you rescued in the barn. That was you. It was. Once I recovered, I was able to take human form. You were so kind to me that I decided to remain a human that I might serve you. And now, But now I have used a power that goes beyond the capacity of a human body. I will not be able to return to that form. That's awesome. So now I've got a dragon friend. I like it when the characters in, in these RPGs, when they kind of, like right now, the character's kind of blinking. Oh, it's great. The like art style's fantastic. I like when they do that, it's kind of cute. Yeah. Like they'll do like one or two frames of the game. Mm-hmm. Well, let's be careful. Drop me if you must. I won't have you sacrifice yourself for me. First dragons, I call on you. Grant us access to the astral plane. Man, this is getting trippy. We're getting all like you're playing mystical JRPG. now. Here we go. I love it. This is uh, basically what Doctor Strange, the movie, is going to look like, I think. Doctor St oh, the Cumberbatch movie. Yep. What just happened? Is it, though? Is the, are the comics this weird? Well, it's very mystical, yeah. Very weird, very that's trippy. That's going to be big in Japan, though, and, and China. I think so, they yeah. they love him over there. Oh, yeah. So if he's they were shooting like this, in Nepal, right? I, I think, think so, yeah. yeah. This is a world parallel to the one in which you live, Lord Batwing. It is known as the Astral uh -huh. Plane. Well, how were you able to get us here? Under the protection of the first dragons. Okay. All right, here I got my treehouse. Okay. Did you just use a dragon vein? Yes, the power of the first dragons flows freely in this realm. You should know that space and time operate differently I here see. as well, just like in Vic's basement. Uh, is there anyone else here? No, we are all alone. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. It's okay, Batwing. I'm not lonely as long as I have you in my life. Oh my god. This is, this is getting creepy. It just got really it's sentimental. The and dragon just it's made like it a weird. Valentine's Day game happening right here. Okay. Now you should get some rest. It's a weird looking dragon. It's more like a Pokemon. Cute. Yeah. Cute little dragon. Okay. It's like a baby dragon. Um, where does this go? This goes right here. Okay. How are you feeling, Batwing? I know this is a lot Thank to take you. in. Yes, it is. Okay. Yeah. Under when did we start the stream? Is there a way to know how long this is? Uh, I can go check. Okay. I want to save some good time for uh, me getting a little bit further into this game, so I can stream again. Started about 55 minutes ago. Okay. So we're gonna we're gonna stream for another. Uh, mm, what do you think? Another. It's up to you. Maybe another 15 minutes. Your mind, Norian. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> And somebody just stabbed me in the back. It's all very mysterious. Someone says Breath of Fire just came out on PSN today. Wow. That? That's an old classic turn-based RPG as well. Shows how much I know. Old from the... Uh, oh, it's a Capcom game. Yeah. In the early 90s. Yeah. Well, look at that. Was it a yeah. Super Nintendo game? Yes, it was. Yeah. Oh, yeah, and then they, they did a PlayStation 1 port, I think, of it, did they? Uh, let's see what Wikipedia says. Okay. It's actually up there. Yeah, PlayStation... Uh, I, I think they kept going with it, or they re-released it. Huh. I actually don't remember playing that one. Shows how much of an RPG guy oh. I am. It's you from that Flame Tribe. Oh! Uh -huh. So the uh, Rinka, who I saved, just uh, saved me? Or knocked me out and saved me, somehow? This is a flame tribe village within the Hoshido's territory. I'm going to hand you over to the Hoshidan authorities. I see. I suppose they'll want to hear an explanation of their for the unprovoked attack. 
then they'll execute me. Uh huh. Okay. So I think these two will become unlikely allies. That's my prediction. Okay, now we're in the snow. Oh, <clears throat> I'm glad you're safe. Huh? Let's go. There's been a lot of lot of different themes thrown at us already. All right, little chieftain. It's almost, almost like you're playing a JRPG. Uh, well, yeah, we're some epic. Uh, I mean. Star Warsian space opera type thing, you know? There's all these different heroes well, and more, factions and... I would compare it to Kurosawa. Or a Kurosawa right? film, sure. Yeah. that's what Star Wars is. Or ancient uh, mythology, yeah. right? Yeah, you know, it's the oldest story ever told. You know? Yeah. With Joseph Conrad and or Joseph Campbell, I mean. Mm -hmm. Hero's Journey and all that jazz. Okay, so now I'm in the... Hushiden Empire. There's a lot of stuff's happened in three chapters here. I've been waiting. <laughs> Thank you. How many chapters uh -huh. are in the game? Uh -huh. right it goes into the twenties for sure. What is Wikipedia say? All right. What are you waiting for? So it's it's uh, it's the stream uh, hosted by uh, Vic, Blake, and Wikipedia today. Yes. Right. Okay. Well, that's every. That's I I, I look at Wikipedia <laughs> every five minutes in real life. <laughs> Okay, who's this lady? Hello. She's not wearing purple. What? Mm -hmm. Sacrilege. Mm -hmm. White. I cannot believe. A lot of white, a little bit of uh, blue accents. I cannot believe it's really uh -huh. you. This is Makoto. I'm sorry. Do we I know each other? So Missed you so much. Come here, Batwing, my sweet child. This is my mother. Oh my God. What? Your sweet child. What are you talking about? That's not possible. There's uh, 27 chapters in each version of the game. Okay. A lot of reveals in th three chapters in this one already. Not including the Paralog chapters and the Xenolog chapters. Okay. And I have no idea what those are. <laughs> when you were young, you were abducted by forces from Nor. I am your mother, Mikoto. All this time, I uh, sorry for the spoilers, everybody. This is stuff you would get. If you were just playing it by yourself, uh, but yeah, we're spoiling the story. Any, if they don't want any spoilers, they know not to watch a live stream. All right, but but uh, King Garen is my father. None of what you're saying makes yes. sense. Uh, it must be quite a Nick, shock. We're gonna post more classic EP episodes on YouTube when we get to what did we say? I think we'll do. Uh, let's do season two when we get to twenty thousand subscribers on our YouTube okay, channel. Okay. Maybe. Uh, Season three when we get to thirty thousand. Okay, so All nostalgia, right. Nick. If you want those classic episodes, tell your friends to subscribe. Yep, make up some of those posters and put them in uh, your coffee shop bulletin boards. <laughs> <laughs> put it on the, the, the cork board at your at the local old folks' home. <laughs> no, no, no. Xander is my older brother. Leo, Elise, and Camille are my Don't siblings. Uh, is this birthright or conquest? This one is birthright. Okay. And not until Garen Lord King. Sumuragi, our father. I, so I, I think what happened is they started to, you know, sort of uh, sculpt out the story and put it up on, on a whiteboard and s see where they were going to go with everything. And then they went, oh my God, we need two games. Yeah. Right? I think that's no, they, that, that what, must have been what, what Nintendo happened. Nintendo said was their public company. <laughs> and they said, hey, our investors would probably be a lot happier if this were two games. I, I don't know. I, don't, I guess it's been working for the Pokemon games. Yeah. They always come out with two games now, right? I guess that's so. My, right? That's my very cynical. Response. Yeah, no, it's and it's probably an appropriate one. <laughs> he said it was for a peace conference. Okay, His real Mark plan was. Okay, Cup has a very serious question. Okay. With only one Firewatch or Unravel. <gasps> oh boy, that's a. That's a uh, well, it's I both think. Came out today. I, they're they're both exquisite. They're both beautiful, but I think Firewatch is not a traditional game and unravel is kind of a traditional yeah, game you, you've played fire you've played unravel before it's so, or, or the mechanics of unravel yeah. before you, but you've played a game just like that. Firewatch, so firewatch you've watch likely so never played anything like it yeah. so i would uh even though it may leave you a little wanting you know because it's it's not a traditional game but this is the thing about firewatch is that the fact that you can't really explain what genre it is it's kind of weird. It's that tells you right there it's something unique. That's and it really pulls you in. I mean, it was it was really hard to. It, that one was keeping me up very very late at night. I, I just beat it last night, and it's it was really cool. 
very, very cool game. Hi, Agent Washington. Thanks for joining us. And hi to Swan. Oh, and the other thing about, um, and you can see it in my stream on Unravel, is that it's very hard. So you spend a lot of time in that game <clears throat> retraversing and retrying things over and over again. I, I played it on the weekend. Yeah, it's pretty hard. It's just pretty hard from Blake. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> my friend Agent Washington's in the house. I, 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 the games are harder, infinitely harder when you're streaming. I was trying to stream right. Super Star Wars. You get self-conscious. Oh my God, I was just sweating bullets. It's different. Freaking out. It's not, it's not a skill that everyone can just jump right into. You know? Yeah. Yes, Agent Washington, I know who you are. Reporting. I, Lord Rioma, I have an urgent message, which is kind of cool that everybody's patient with me when I stream because they, they you know, a lot of times oh, they, they just, it, they know. tell me it's, they it. you know, but it's nice. They, they know that streaming is tough and it's hard to, not everyone gets stuff in a game. Everything that will be all That's the beauty of a game, you can play it at your own pace. Yep, don't worry about it, sis, we'll be okay. So, I don't know who these characters are, because uh, I was skipping, pressing the button as we were talking there, but, uh, I just won. Okay. <laughs> uh, James Barner Firewatch is out now. Yeah, they're both out now. And the gravel came out today as well. Yeah. Um, how much does Firewatch cost? They're mm. both 20 bucks, I think. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah, I would get Firewatch. If they're both the same price, yeah, Firewatch. Yeah, for sure. um, uh, Agent Washington Super Star Wars, yeah, it came out on the SNES originally. Yeah. I played that when it came out. I bought it. I, I have the original one. I remember I got all the way to Moss Eisley. Mm -hmm. And then I was really looking forward to passing Moss Eisley because I could go to the Death Star. Mm -hmm. But then I died right at the end of the Moss Eisley level and I was really pissed off. Because nah. I couldn't play it because I wanted to go to the Death Star. It's super hard. <clears throat> yeah, and th that's the type of game where it's like you lose all your lives, you go back to the game. It's just not Well, the level. Oh yeah, yeah. There was no save point. There, there is, there is a save point on the PlayStation 4 version. They did a good job on that, actually. Okay, where do I go? It's kind of crazy that this and XCOM 2 came out at the same time. You know? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, Agent Washington. Back in the day on the Super Nintendo, and the NES definitely because they didn't have a hard drive. But the Super Nintendo, the, the, a lot of games you couldn't save. It was like. You die and you're back in the beginning. You kind of have to finish. Or they the had game they had codes. Yeah. Oh, they there's had codes I missed. A, there's some dragon veins and I, I missed this uh, thing to seize over here. Okay. So I think. Uh, but on the PS4 you can save it, right? Yeah. It's like the main game. All right. Do your worst, monsters. I promise I can be meaner than you. Okay. So this is like a little side mission that I'm on right now. I'm playing as some of these characters. I'm not controlling these characters at all. This very cool uh, Pegasus. Victory is mine. Thanks, Nolan FSC. Thanks, Steel Nag Naganata. Magenta. Okay, those monsters are zooming in on them. Okay, let's go back and... Uh, S -A -N -S -A -N. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> uh, the reason it looks a little fuzzy is because the 3DS outputs at standard definition. Um, so we had to take an SD source and blow it up to HD to stream. That's why it looks a little fuzzy. Should we go visit the town? Yeah. I don't know if I can. Thank you very much. So until Nintendo invents okay, So invents clear, take HD this. Okay, cool. Yeah. All right. I got a goddess cool. icon. Okay. Should I go get one of these dragon veins? Can uh, I? Sajala, it is a direct feed. We're going away from the 3DS into okay. uh, the streaming computer. Uh, the blurriness is a result of Alright. Oh man, look at this. This is totally not fair. Take down that ogre. Do it! Oh, that hurt him. Okay. Oh, Santa's. Santa's force. Okay. Oh, this guy looks like right out of uh, Ryoma. Looks right out of Samurai Showdown. Here we go. Super <laughs> favorite superhero show? Yeah, Alexandre de Vio. The Flash. I'm loving it. I haven't seen Legends of Tomorrow yet. I really liked Daredevil. Um, and Arrow is great, but it's uh, it, not every episode is great. 
But I love The Flash. The Flash has been the most consistent and fun, and it's because the actors are all so talented. And Jay Land's asking about the sec for Paper Mario game. We'll stream some of that, too. I do, I like them all, and I like the Mario and Luigi games as well. I don't find that I get sucked into them and stay with them forever and ever, though. Like, I, I, lo I love them when I play them, but this is the curse of reviewing, is that you you play them for as long as you can, and then you jump on to whatever comes next. That could be the name of the Paper Mario game. The Paper Mario, the curse of reviewing. Yeah. It sounds like the name of the game. <laughs> but I am digging the, uh, the mixture of all the characters in the one game. You don't like Gotham more than the Flash? I, I, Gotham is okay. There's there's always a fun thing in every episode, but it's it's not my favorite. I I know how to save that show. You you make every season five years later. So you can just get to Batman. Well, yeah, but then you also can tell more story, and then you have history that's kind of connecting to a consistent sort of present that we would all recognize. It doesn't even have to be Batman. It could just be a teenage Bruce Wayne in a, uh, or a 20-something Bruce Wayne in a, in a mocked-up Batman costume that he's just sort of testing out his vigilanteism. That would be fantastic. Sean Cook wants to know if you have a favorite SNES game. Uh, oh man, that's an excellent question. The easy answer is uh, uh, Link to the Past. Yeah, that's, that is it. That's my favorite one. But my personal favorite is Super Mario. I, I'm to that, I, I loved that. Final Fantasy 3 on the Super Nintendo, which was actually Final Fantasy 6, but I loved that game. I was surprised. That was like my first foray into JRPGs, and I was blown away. Yeah, I gotta say something. I was like four when I was super young. Yeah. No, I haven't seen it yet. Yeah, I gotta get to it. I've been watching The Expanse and The Flash and uh, Arrow shows. and a little bit of um, Gotham. Which one? Electric Playground. Oh, yes, there does. There needs to be a show about the shows, right? And the games. They have that. Talking Dead. Every show has its own little doctor. Oh yeah, but they need they need our show out there talking to these people and that make the, this stuff and uh, going behind the scenes and reviewing this stuff. Uh, so I'm saying my voice is quiet. It's probably because I'm talking softer because I have to my voice is sore. Ah. Uh, How does Vic sound relative to the game? Does he sound okay? Okay. These ogres are slow. They're big. They're dumb, and they're slow. But this is taking a long time to beat them all. Okay, there's a, there's a uh, fast forward motion here. Might be able to skip some of this stuff. Yep, okay, okay. Let's skip, 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 skip. I'm just gonna skip through some of these battles. We, we all know what they kind of look like. All right, let's go. This guy looks like the Hulk. Which guy? The green dude you're fighting. Yeah. Attack. Or maybe he's dead. I'm looking at... See, the problem is I'm looking at the stream. Right. I'm not, what, I'm not looking at the 3DS screen that you have in your hand. I'm looking at the stream on Twitch and YouTube. So right. That's like 10 seconds. He actually looks like one of the uh, ogres. I think they're ogres from Lord of the Rings. Yeah, they're the trolls. Trolls, yeah. He looks like one of the trolls. It's kind of the same. Yeah. yeah. <coughs> Speed through this stuff. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Slow, can, we're whittling them down. The, you can turn off the battle scenes, and, like the cutscenes and stuff. In the yeah, I figure people want to see them, but these are. I don't know how consequential these characters are. It's like we're getting a backstory of this battle, but I, these aren't the main characters in the game. E.G. Washington says he loves the new intros. Oh, cool. I guess he needs to start <laughs> 
<laughs> the food analogy. <laughs> we're kind of winging it, man. We're making it up as we go, but thank you, Agent Washington. We're having fun. It's it's fun to just be doing something and not just waiting, man. I'm not a very good uh, patient waiting type person. As you could probably guess from the thousands of episodes of EP and reviews that we've made. What's incredible is we can produce and deliver and you guys can watch it and you can give us feedback and we can do that without any anybody. We can just do it. It's just amazing now. Because before when we did the rundown, we had to shoot it a day before. Yeah. Because of the turnaround for television. That's true. You know, it has to go to a network and they have to approve it and make a broadcast safe and all this other crap. But now you just, you know, post it to YouTube and it's there. You know? Which is very cool, yeah. And I can put in links and stuff. And I can say, click the link on the screen yeah. to sign up for the beta. Oh no, somebody died. I hope this doesn't make me have to do this all again. Sakuro, get out of here. You can't possibly go on. Okay, all right, okay. So, not, not dead. Yeah, there are tons and tons of benefits for uh, the way that we're delivering our material right now, for sure. But we, I sure miss the... Uh, the shotgun blast of our, the amount of content we could make, but also the amount of people that we could reach yeah. the way that we've been doing it. Uh, another person, Sean Cook, is asking about the EP Daily episodes. Yeah. Uh, we're going to post more of those, more subscribers. Yeah. 20,000 will post season two, 30,000 will post season three. But he's talking about EP Daily episodes. Ah, okay. He's stuff from like 2008. 2009. Yeah, we'll, we'll uh, dig the, into some of that catalog. I mean, everything from 2010 on is on our website. It's not on YouTube. It's on our, our website, but we are currently on Viddler. Yeah, we're doing this. With same. those vids, and those aren't, they're not going to be there for very much longer. So, what we did is we, um, we partnered with uh, Daily Motion, and they've posted 10,000 of our videos on. Uh, on our EP, EPN channel there. So if you go to uh, dailymotion.com slash EPN, you can watch tons of episodes of reviews on the run and EP daily Literally, stuff. Literally, because that's the problem. We were making two ep two daily shows for like five years. Yeah. So we have literally... Well, we've been making EP daily since 2008. Videos. So that's... So there's literally thousands of episodes. Yes. And that's, a lot of, that's a lot of stuff. And then we split up those episodes into, into segments as well. So we have lots and lots of segments of individual interviews and individual things. It's awesome. Someone says, I'd like to see a comprehensive show on Vic's toys. <laughs> and then the guy right below says, their sex life is none of your business. <laughs> Not those kind of toys. <laughs> okay, we're almost done. Let's get these guys. There we go. More fuel for the fire. Oh yeah, that's right. We have a subreddit now. I should probably mention that. Oh yes, we do. We have a subreddit, everybody. Electric playground. Electric underscore playground. Stage complete. I only lost one character so far. Thank you so very much. Wow. Oh, I didn't lose her actually. Sakura, thanks I for think, coming to our aid. I think you're not on classic Whoa. mode. I think you're on the not. No, I'm on classic. I chose classic. Some dude is saying you're not. I think I am, but uh, I'm not playing any big major things that are of consequence yet. That's actually probably a great place to to quit there. I think, right? Okay. I'll say. I'll yeah, say. Uh, I'm gonna save now because I want to be able to show some of the later stuff. So that means I need to play this on my own for a bit, and uh, I'll co I'll come back on the 3DS and stream some more in a bit. But uh, okay, so we're gonna end stream now. Yeah. Yeah, thanks for coming, everybody. Thanks for watching, everyone. You all rock. This game is fun. I'm having a good time. Okay, take care.